nepotism is good to me. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for joining uh, me on camera at flagandbanner.com. My team has put together some questions for me and I don't know what they are. So I'm gonna get them and then I'm gonna answer them and then I hope I say something that you can use in your life or that helps you up your business, up your life or up your income for that matter. First question. Through research and development, I've read that most CEOs prefer not to work with their family members. Reasons being, emotions get involved, <laughs> expectations vary, family members become insiders and there could possibly perceive, be perceived uh, nepotism. So how do you feel about this statement? I love this question. Actually, every time I tell someone my kids work with me, most people say, oh, you're so lucky. And that's exactly right. So your business is kind of your firstborn child. Uh, you start it from scratch. Most people start their businesses before they even have children. So I started mine from scratch and, um, you know, grew it. And then I started having children. And then they all kind of came with me to work and worked around the flag business for, you know, all of their life. And so for them to want to grow up and to continue to stay in the flag business is just, it's just wonderful. I wish. You know, my mother and father asked me if I would wanted to take over their business when they retired, and I, and I didn't. And I'm sure they hurt their feelings a little bit. So I feel very honored that my children want to follow in my footsteps. I have three of my four children working here, and I still have hope for the last one. And uh, I'm training my grandchildren, I hope, to work here and to understand the flag business and to like it. Small businesses are the backbone of America, and having your family carry on your legacy. I mean, that's kind of the American way. And on working with my children, nothing could be more fun. They are my favorite people in the world. My family is my fa are my favorite people in the world. When we get together, I have more fun with them than anybody else. It is, anything goes. And when we get together, there's no judgment. We just are we are. We don't have to wake up the next morning and feel bad about, oh, I shouldn't have said that because you can say anything you want around me and it is fine. And we just give it to each other the whole time. And we laugh so hard when we're together that, you know, working with them is just icing on the cake. Now, is it perfect? It's not perfect. As any parent will tell you, raising children and watching them grow can sometimes be hard because you want to tell them what to do right and what, what, how to do it better. And just like me, they want to learn it for themselves. So all I can really do is guide them, give them advice. If they make something, if they do make a decision that I feel like is really wrong for the whole of the company, then I step in. But most of the people that work for me love the idea that my children are working here because that means job security. It means they're, they don't have to worry about when am I going to retire? When's the business going to get sold to somebody else, heaven forbid, because it's not. So everybody that works for me now has job security. Everybody that works for me now loves working with my children. They are fun. They are fair. They are family oriented and they, they, they have empathy for everybody that works here. And, um, they're just good people, so I love working with them. And they're smart. They're all smart people, too. Okay, so does working with your family make your job exciting, hard, or easy? Working with my family is exciting. I was just telling somebody today, because I came to work early today, and some of my employees were like, what are you doing here so early? And I had to meet somebody here early. And um, so they were kind of like, what are you doing here so early? Well, it's not because I'm not at work, because I get up before the sun does, and I get on and I go to the gym, and then I come home and I get coffee, and I start working on my laptop, and I work till I finally just have to go to the office, and I get a lot done at home on my laptop, because I was telling someone this morning, walking up the stairs when I got here early, you know, I'm not usually here this early for all the reasons I just said, but when I get here, it's just fun, and I get to talk and brainstorm with everybody, because one of my favorite things to do about small business is to brainstorm in groups. It is fun. 
and my kids love to come in my office, sit down, tell me about the department they're working in, they're working in and we brainstorm about ideas in their departments. So working with my kids is fun, it's exciting. Anybody that doesn't think business is creative hasn't worked in a small business because business is so creative. People used to say to me all the time, you're so creative because I kind of give off this creative vibe, I think. And I'd say, no, I have no desires to paint or sing or, you know, I don't create really anything. And then as I got older, I thought, oh, I create business and I'm very creative in business. And I think that's why FlagandBanner.com has been successful because business is creative and brainstorming in groups is creative.